Hello, hello, my beautiful lions, my Leos. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 13th to the 19th. Know that this is a general. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Leo out there, but some of it will. So run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Let's see what we have here for your week. Starting first with your <clears throat> download message you've been given over time. So this is indicative that some of you might have to do better time management on your calendar and, uh, uh, you know, set your time so that you're able to fit everything in, in a expedient and a comfortable <coughs> way. You might be asked to work over extra hours at work <clears throat> to finish a project or a contract. Uh, there could be somebody at work that may have been off. Maybe they're off on mat leave or for some reason they're shorthanded and they're going to need you to step up and need you to do more work. So overtime, okay, maybe your mind is in overtime. Maybe you're thinking and, and ruminating and mulling over things back and forth, ideas in your head and situations. So there's going to be some work uh, you know, to be done here uh, and initiate the time to do it, okay? That's what this is about. Now, coming in in your first row here with your first card, you've got endings, and this is like the death card. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead, and you may change careers entirely. So you could be sitting there thinking, now what do I do? Okay, you've got the Four of Cups. That's that card that says, you know, you're feeling like you're missing out on an opportunity. You're a little bit down in the mouth. You're feeling victimized right now. But the universe is handing you something. And that is the form of an opportunity and an idea that says, you know what? You may change things. Things are happening <clears throat> and things are different right now. But there could be a better opportunity for you. And that might be that you're going to say to heck with this. I'm going to open my own business. I know more than, uh, you know, I know enough. And and uh, I can do this on my own. You could be thinking about that. But the universe says, keep your eyes open. Get out there. Get back in the game. Seize the moment. Don't be afraid to get out there and start Googling jobs or get a hold of a, uh, a, um, a, you know, a career coach or you know somebody like that that's out there to help you find a job. This is a, this is a card that says keep your eyes open and have a bigger, broader, wider perspective to perhaps be open to things that could be different from what you had left behind, from what you've lost, where you feel right now. So it's about you waking up and keeping your eyes wide open to see things that are new coming in. So it's like the death card. <clears throat> you know, something's going to end, but for some of you, it could be your job or your uh, a job you were at. Maybe it's a contract that ended uh, that you've completed. And, um, you know, there might be a, a layoff right now for some of you where you're going to take some time off and it's going to make you think about what do I want to do in the future. Now, the next card coming in is the card Frozen. And it says, there may be a hiring freeze or no work now. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the mood and gets you in the, in the door. So remember I said here that you're sitting here thinking, okay, what am I going to do now? And you're getting up in your head and you're assuming and presuming that now I'm stuck here forever. No, something might be slow right now. You need to get in the game, okay? You need to seize the moment and start looking right now so that you can come out of this uh, you know, this feeling of aloofness, okay? Um, don't be afraid to contact somebody uh, and at least uh, see that they can give you a good job referral, perhaps to move into a new job um, and get out there because you could be talking to people that you can be in contact with that might open doors for you and for a new opportunity somewhere else if it is a job-related incident here for some of you. The Nine of Wands says, you know, you're feeling this way and now, you know, you're standing there and you're saying to yourself, oh my gosh, what am I going to do next? Well, you're not going to give up and roll over. This is a temporary pause of action here with this frozen card, okay? You can leave and get out, okay? You're being aloof and can leave and get out in the cold. Uh, you feel this way now. But there could be something here where you're going to follow up on something. And so step out there. Don't be afraid to follow up on a new, on something new or get a hold of the right person, okay? Find a job recruiter if you have to. Find a friend that you might know that has an opening or could put a good word in for you if this is a job-related situation, okay? <clears throat> now, coming in next, we have Make It Work. So you have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. So I liken this to kind of like the, um, the magician where the universe says, hey, just keep your eyes open here to see that you've got 
capabilities here of new opportunities coming down your path you just need to keep your eyes open to see them and apparently you you have the ability to show your craft to be able to go out there and show uh what you have to offer in a new job or in a new position so this is about you putting in the effort getting out there and letting the powers be marketing yourself basically right getting out there advertising yourself getting notice where you're getting attention generated towards your business towards you towards your website whatever the case is You've got the judgment card and you're deciding you've got it feels like a second chance here the judgment card is all about making a judgment call and moving forward all together in a new direction it's time to let go of the anger the hurt uh the pain the disappointment and um you know and and just forgive the situation and move forward this is about getting a second chance and you're absolutely going to feel better because you're only going to allow yourself to be in the circle of those who support you you've got all the tools of the trade here to let the powers be know what you're made of and what you're capable of you are an asset and make yourself worthy of that when you go out looking if you are looking for another job okay but there's a judgment call here and maybe you're getting a second chance at something that you wished you could have always done maybe it's a second chance within a relationship or a friendship or anything like that it can be career or personally uh you know generated that way but don't give up okay you have the tools here to move forward things might be frozen right now and slow but you're working towards something new Coming in, you've got the card of expression. You need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well in writing, blogging, or a career in communication. So, you know, this is about you expressing yourself in many ways, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a job-related or career-related card here. This is a card that says when you're communicating with anybody, I mean, if it's in a personal romantic relationship, be clear and concise on what you want and where you stand on a situation. Be creative when you express yourself to them. Uh, things could go well. Maybe you're going to send them a note or a text or a beautiful card with beautiful words. Maybe you're going to write them a love letter. Okay, but you do have the ability to do this and express yourself. For others, you might be blogging or a career in communication where you will be having uh, having to write things down and edit things and maybe you know some of you are actually going to write a book now the fool comes in with that and you're no fool by any means my beautiful leos but this is a card that says again seize the moment go out there put in the overtime so that you can take that leap of faith and go after what it is you want so don't be afraid the universe says as long as you prepare yourself and they're saying here you already can make it work you have all the tools that you need right now to go after whatever this goal is whatever this situation is whatever relationship this is you can do this don't be afraid coming in next my beautiful leos you've got in the flow the universe is sending you help Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. So you're getting downloads, messages, and you're going to see things changing here. And it's almost like you're going to say, oh my gosh, I got a second chance. I can't believe this is happening to me. I can make this move and go forward. I was so worried here at that in the beginning, but now I'm able to go after what I want. And the Ace of Cups comes in and that is the universe sending you all the love that you need, all the attention that you need, the time, effort, support, affection, and love. This could be the card of meeting somebody new. Uh, this could be a new person coming into your life that wants to strum up a relationship and take it to the next level or perhaps have an, a, a romantic relationship. But this is a gift coming in from the powers that be that's saying, hey, the universe is sending you help. Whatever you need right now, if it has to do with your job, a new job, a, your, a relationship, a friendship, whatever the case is, you're going to receive this beautiful help coming in. So tap into your inner power and go deeper to create this life that you want this week. Well, my beautiful Leos, this is your general reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy and prosperous, successful week. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful lions.